Each year, I have trained over 500 different people on how to use AI specifically for work through my AI skill transformation. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Ryan Staley. That's what I do for a living. And it was really interesting because I saw three things that popped out to me that no one is doing, or I should say less than 5% of people are doing out of those 500 that could take you literally from beginner level use of ChatGPT 4.0 all the way to expert. And it's very, very simple to do. So I'm gonna share those with you today and I'm gonna get right into it. So one of the things that I wanna start off with is, let me share my screen. I'm gonna go back and forth on this because there's some really unique things that you're gonna see happen with this. And so let me share it just from the basics, okay? So I wanna give you an example of something that you have an idea on how this works without context, if you will. So create 10 content ideas for me. Okay, so that's a very, very generic, actually crappy prompt. I would never use a prompt that bad, but basically this just shows how you could use something simple like this and have a very, very still solid input, right? It's talking about 10 different types of content I could create, doesn't really know a lot about me. And one of the biggest complaints that I hear where folks are like, hey, I'm not getting the results I want is because of the fact that they don't truly understand like how to use it and customize it to their needs. And so let me stop sharing real quick. I'm going to change something because I cannot share an area with you in here. I can't, sh I, you know, girls got to have secrets, you know. It goes back to a living color reference from the 80s. Okay. So anyways, you click on this little icon in the corner and then this pops up. General personalization, speech, data controls, building profile, all these areas, right? So one of the things I, as you can see here, I have custom instructions off. Okay, just by clicking this, so I'm gonna turn it on and one of the things you'll see, and you know what, hell, I'll include this prompt in the notes below. So if you wanna check this out and then just make these adjustments yourself, you can do this. Click on and I'll show you kind of how I had a profile. I'm a content creator specialized in YouTube and LinkedIn content around ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot, and Gemini. Talks about my clients, how big they are, right? So this is on the top. How would you like it to get a better response? That's one piece. The second piece is like, how do you want to respond? I'm a high D personality, which means I like people being direct to the point and giving me the executive summary. So what you'll see is that's how I want the AI to communicate with me, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is save this and I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna use the same exact prompt, but now it's gonna have all the context of what I just told you. Create 10 content ideas for me. Right? So if you toggle it on and off, you're gonna have the ability for custom instructions to give you that context and that flavor and know who you are all the time, as well as what you want. Look at how much, look at how much insanely better this is and how much it's customized to me, right? So we went from land content with 10 different areas to talking about how to integrate AI into marketing strategies, fully service, optimizing content creation how to implement a $50 million company case study, right? Like some of these are pretty darn good ideas. And as you can see, here's the thing. My prompt freaking sucks. It's absolutely terrible. Create 10 content ideas for me. No examples, no other areas that give it that deeper enrichment. And it's all because I updated those custom instructions. Now, here's the really cool thing. You could have multiple different custom instructions that you copy and paste in there. It could be, one could be your client. If you want to role play off them, one could be for, Let's say content Ryan, like I did here. Another could be for leader Ryan and just make minor adjustments to it. And then when it looks through that lens, it's gonna give you that hyper specialized view because once again, these models are alien life forms. They're not like a SaaS product that goes straight. They're gonna have up and down responses. But if you focus that attention on what they need to, to like really zero in on, you're gonna get exponentially better results, okay? So that's number one. Number two. All right, so you're gonna love this one as well. I'm gonna get into this, let me stop sharing again. We're gonna get back into another example that I absolutely love. <clears throat> so this is one of my, actually, I'll, I'll save it again. I don't even know why I stopped sharing. You guys are gonna get annoyed with me today, right? Like, you're like, Ryan, what the hell is up? I actually went whitewater rafting last week, which is freaking amazing. All right, let's create a new one, right? So we still have the custom instructions on, so I'm not gonna shut that off. Now I'm gonna stack the next one, okay? So this is like a really, really cool example that I love. And once again, this is an area that not many people are doing. So all I'm asking it for is to identify five strategies that SMB companies that are less than a million, give me three tactics, identify the skills. Once again, this is ChatGPT 4.0 from OpenAI. So let's execute this in real time so you can see. The next area is, is so freaking simple. 
but I can't tell you, I've had people rate themselves like a four or a five in terms of training and they still don't know how to do this. So that's why I'm identifying like how it could take you from beginner to expert or advanced in these like minor, minor steps that aren't even about prompting, okay? So pretty good comprehensive area. As you can see, this prompt didn't suck as much as the last one I had. I'm trying to do better for you, right? And so this is a little bit more specific. Uh, I said, okay, name the strategy, three tactics they can use and identify skills needed for each one, all right? Now, the awesome thing about it is this next area is really simple. So we got content marketing, we got email marketing, referral programs, skills needed, social media, and networking events. Why don't we hit on referral programs, okay? I'm gonna do this. Now watch this, all I do is I, I left click, okay? I left click and I highlight, okay? So you see that little quotation mark that pops up right there? Now I go back on it and I click on it. So basically all I did is highlight it. Now what I'm doing is, is, is I'm focusing ChatGPT 4.0's attention all on this area right here. Specifically, it gave all these examples and new cases. I said, okay, please provide a 30 day tactical plan to implement this. Once again, my, my spelling sucks. See, you can be good with AI and be terrible at typing, which is what I am. I think I need to use voice more. It's just kind of hard when I'm doing a video with you. So, okay, so now what it's doing is giving a, a 30 day tactical plan. Define goals, design the program. Here, I'll go up here. Uh, develop program materials, set up tracking and CRM, launch the initial promotion, social media. So it gives literally a 30 day program on how, how to execute this, okay? So let's go, like I call this iterative prompting, which is really the best where you get a broad idea and then you keep getting more and more focused on this. So let's say, all right, awesome, ChatGPT 4.0, define goals and object objectives, right? I'm gonna do this again and I'm gonna drill down again, click on it. Give me three examples of goals and objectives for obtaining, let's say how many referrals? Let's say 10 referrals per month, all right? Look at that. So now we, we, we drill down once, we gave it, we got five plans and we drilled down and got a 30 day plan and now we're, we're basically having it do our work for us, right? Example one, increase customer base. Number two, boost revenue. Number three, enhance brand loyalty, all right? And now let's do it one more time for good measure. Um, this would be a good one. So let's do this. And I'm gonna say this, oh, once again, I'm highlighting it. Clicking reply. Give me three examples of companies that have done this and explain their programs. Once again, more typos. Explain, explain, all right? Okay, so Dropbox, right? I know that to be true because I've actually consulted companies helping on this. Tesla, all right, love that. It's got Tesla in there, Evernote. Okay, so this is like how you go from being like just a noob to being one of the best possible users of this ChatGPT 2.0, okay? So that was number two. Number three, we are gonna get into. And this is a new one that I, I kind of stumbled across recently and I'm gonna create a new one. This is a really cool prompt that the AI solopreneur created. And effectively what it is, it's a whole prompt around like viral content ideas based on authoritative stories and frameworks, okay? So what we're trying to do is come up with a lot of frameworks specifically for like a niche. So why don't we do, why don't we do an inception area? So YouTube content creation, all right? So what it's gonna do now is it's gonna identify frameworks specifically around YouTube content creation and people that we could leverage in the best possible way or really, really good content creators, all right? Really interesting thing. I don't know why the hell I had Jeff Bezos day one philosophy. I think that's because I had that as an example, which is really interesting that I gave that because I've never seen it do it before. All right, so it's got re, re, for Leos, Man, what is up with my language today? Elon Musk, Tim Ferriss, 4-Hour Workweek, Brene Brown. So these are all folks that are 
have great YouTube videos that are super, super, or books, I should say, that are well known for content creation. All right. And so it's really interesting. So on my podcast, I had Mark Roberge on, who's one of the top well-respected folks. And he mentioned AI is like a, a ripe for disruption. Is this Clayton Christensen's disruptor, disruptive innovation, all right? So now, once again, we're leveraging the technique that I just used. We're stacking on top of it. And I can say, okay, help me create five viral YouTube videos on this concept, right? So now what we're doing is we are leveraging that specifically around the one topic we're drilling down. And so we're using frameworks to scale the attention that we have. And within doing this, now what we're doing is we're creating potential YouTube videos. And I'll let it, I'll let it keep I'll let it keep finishing so you can see it. We're leveraging those potential YouTube videos or those ideas from a very well-known, well-respected influence author within this area. So as you can see here, I think it was super cool. It basically broke down and gave five super cool ideas on content creation, script outlines. Let's see which one I like the most. What is a disruptive iteration? Okay, theory explained. Spotting disruption. Okay, from idea to market. Lessons from the top five best companies that master. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like that one. The future of disruption. I would probably go with number four, right? So explain why it's successful. Detailed scale. Okay, you got Amazon, Airbnb, Tesla, key strategies, practice. Like, and then I could even drill down on this one more time deeper. I'm not gonna do that because we're just about up on time. But I wanted to share you. So just to kind of summarize like what's possible by doing these, these three moves that are very, very simple. Step one is put your custom instructions in. Like I said, I'll give an example prompt. I'll put it in the notes so you can leverage that. That's my free gift to you. And then number two, once you have that set up, remember you can turn it on and off, right? So, or you could even change it to other people that you want to embody when basically ChatGPT 4.0 is giving you the response. This is one of the things that Copilot does not have, as of now, Gemini does not have, and Claude does not have. So this is very ChatGPT 4.0, like unique, if you will. So that's step one. Number two is iterative prompting, okay? Go from broad to narrow to narrow to deep, right? Once you do that, you are gonna get killer responses that will absolutely crush it compared to that generic area. So we got the customization, that's one. We got the iterative prompting, that's two. And number three, look at frameworks from either individuals or niche markets that you could leverage and then build on top of those, whether it's for creating content or it's for creating outputs from a generative AI solution. As you can see here, what I did is I basically did that and then stacked on how to create YouTube videos for it. Give me five amazing ideas, like a couple of them, I might even do these, right? So wanted to share that with you today and wrap that up. I hope you enjoyed this too, because like this is one of the things, like I said, 97% of people are not doing this. And so I wanted to share it with you today. Anyways, thanks for joining me today and I will see you on the next video.